Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you all my summer weekly hair care routine. Alright, so with me, I wash my hair twice a week. So in my hair washing days, I actually use different sets of products every single time I wash my hair. And all of the hair care products that I'm using for my hair at the moment are all extremely moisturizing for the hair just because Right now the weather in the Philippines, it's extremely hot and also I'm going to be showing you guys what I do to my hair in between washes, so let's get started. Alright, okay, now that my hair is wet, I'm gonna go ahead and use the shampoo. But well, right now I've been using a lot of Swarchkoff products, so I'm going to be using the Swarchkoff Bonacure Hair Therapy smooth and perfect and this is for unmanageable hair and it says here that it cleanses and tames unruly hair <laughs> actually this um, shampoo is great to use if you have a frizzy hair it tames the frizz on your hair and with the shampoo of course you guys know the drill I only use it on my scalp so I'm focusing it just in here and what I do like about this as I've said it actually cleanses your hair but as well tames down any frizz on your hair and it smoothens your hair which is such a great combination okay so for the hair mask I'm going to be using the agave restorative hydrating mask and this mask is really great for this time of the year Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it. This mask is so creamy and this is probably one of the most hydrating masks that I've ever used on my hair. So this is definitely going into my favorite hair masks. Also, by the way, since I'm using heat on my bangs, I usually put just a little bit of hair mask on my bangs too. And also, once again, this hair mask is great for dry and frizzy hair. I know I'm focusing a lot on products that um, are very hydrating and it's great for dry hair, even though my hair is not that dry, but the weather makes your hair dry. And also something that would combat frizzy hair because believe it or not, since the weather is humid and it goes really, really hot, sometimes your hair can tend to get frizzy. So that's exactly why I like using these hydrating mask during summer here because it really does help so I'm going to leave this on my hair for about 10 minutes so after that I'm just going to be washing it off all right so now that I've washed the hair mask and the shampoo I'm gonna go ahead and using my Swarchkoff um, conditioner and this is still in their Bonacure line it's the repair and rescue and this is one of my favorite conditioners that I'm using on my hair consistently and I really do like using this because it's, this is geared towards you know hydrating dry and damaged hair and you know what whenever I use this hair care routine I always feel like my hair has been like rebonded or has been straightened or relaxed and also my hair smells really good <laughs> all right so we're gonna go ahead and leave the conditioner on my hair for three minutes and then wash it off all right, so I've washed out the conditioner and now I'm drying my hair using my hair towel. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I dry my hair. I know my hair is still wet, so I'm basically using my wet brush. I usually brush my hair and kind of like detangle, especially the ends or like the bottom part so that when it dries, um, I won't have those like weird waves on my hair. All right, so now that I've brushed my hair, I'm gonna go ahead and let it dry. And this is basically what I use to dry out my hair. I put the fan here and then just let it dry my hair. All right, so my hair is about 70% dry and it's still damp at the moment. So now this is the perfect time to use um, the Osis Plus. This is still from Swarchkoff. I'm not so sure if that's how you pronounce it. And this is a smoothening anti-frizz cream. I just take a few of it because the cream is very thick. So I rub it all over my hand. And what I do like about this is that it is very lightweight. So what I do is I kind of just like put them in this part in this area right here in the places to wear sometimes I do experience kind of frizz. So now right now I'm gonna go ahead and just continue air drying my hair and then I will be right back. Now my hair is completely dry. I'm going to be using the agave oil treatment and it looks like this. I really do like the agave hairline. It smells really good as well. So what I do, since this oil is quite thick, I only put this onto the ends of my hair. 
um, because this is the part that really needs some special attention right now. Just because, as I've said, it is extremely hot here in my country and my ends are the ones that dries out quickly, so... Oh, by the way, also I forgot, I used the Bonacure Hair Therapy Oil Miracle Divine Polish and basically what I do is I just spray this all over my hair and this adds some shine and um, it just makes your hair really soft and manageable and also it adds a really nice scent to your hair as well which is the thing that I really do like. So yep, that's probably one of my favorite things to apply on my hair to make it look like this. It really does add some shine um, to your hair, so that's exactly what I really like about that. And also it makes your hair really really soft as well, which is such a great bonus. But I really do like its result on my hair. Alright you guys, so this is my second day hair I said I just put all my bangs at the side right there because it's crazy hot right now So at the moment, this is the state of my hair I usually on second day hair, my scalp is not oily or anything So I just leave it as is like that But however, this is usually what I use um, And I just spray this all over my hair Alright, so I just let that marinate on my ends. That is what I'm doing for my hair today. Tomorrow I'm going to be showing you how I take care of my third day hair. Alright you guys, so today is my third day hair and it's not gross at all. My hair still smells good and by the way, just to clarify this, I know I'm saying that I'm not washing my hair every day. However, I'm washing my body every single day except for my hair and that's it, okay? Because I know some people are saying like, oh my gosh, ew. You're so gross. Uh, no, it's just me saving my hair from dryness and damage. All right, so for me, so usually the parts to where my hair usually gets oily is just on my roots. I don't know if you guys can see or tell. If I put my bangs right here, you all can see it's looking mm, not so good anymore. So what I do with it is I use a dry shampoo. So that's just what I do, especially on my bangs because my bangs kind of looks awful. <laughs> I just basically put this on my roots because the rest of my hair is not really oily. Yep, so that's it and I'm all good. Tomorrow I'm gonna be showing you my hair care routine again for that specific hair washing day. So that's it. All right to you guys. So today I'm actually going to be using my DIY. Basically looks like this. So this is what I use as a second hair mask for my hair this week. So. So this is going to stay on my hair for about an hour and then after that I'm going to rinse it off. On my scalp I'm going to be using my clarifying shampoo from Suave just because if you all have seen like during um, my non-hair washing days I've been using dry shampoo so I just want to get rid of all of those things on my scalp and also my scalp has been oily so this is really going to help remove those excess oils. And then I will be using my Malungai herbal shampoo with argan oil all over my hair just to get rid, as I've said, of the mayo and all the hair mask that I put on the rest of my hair. Alright, so after this, I'm just gonna go ahead and wash it off. And I'm not gonna put any conditioner anymore because, as I've said, when I use this DIY hair mask, I don't usually um, condition my hair just because the deep conditioning hair mask already moisturizes my hair and conditions it very well, so I don't need to use it. Wash it all off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dry my hair. Alright you guys, so I washed it all off, I air dried it using an electric fan and this is what it looks like right now. Alright, so now I will be using still the Schwarzkopf Bonacure Hair Therapy and this is the Oil Miracle Spray. And so what I'm going to be doing with this is I'm simply going to be spraying this on the mid and the bottom parts of my hair. So that's it you guys. I actually made a promise to some of you that I'm going to be doing the step-by-step -step hair care routine that I do every single week so that you all can see exactly what I do to my hair when I wash it, the hair mask that I'm using, and also what I do on my hair in between washes. And also, as I've said, I've been using my Olivia Garden brush and this brush is specifically um, for hair growth. So what I do from time to time, like, or just, you know, once a day, I brush my scalp with this. And also you guys, if you 
you all are interested in all the products that I use in this hair care routine, I'm going to put and link them all in the description box down below. Actually, majority of the products that I've used on my hair, you can find them on my shop if you all are interested. So that is it. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you all want more videos like this. Please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!